Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Here I am in my underground um, temple dealie. And I've, I've been, if you didn't see the live stream, this is a bit new to you. Um, I decided to change it from the live stream because I wasn't, I wasn't too happy with it. Um, I'm getting rid of most of the stuff, but I've been, I've been faffing around with a whole bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of like these designs and playing around with them. I looked at them on a, on a test world and I am getting rid of these things and I'm going to be putting up some of these sort of designs maybe interspersed with a couple of those designs haven't decided yet but i'm going to be using like lots of terracotta i've got like a bunch of terracotta here um i think it's probably going to be the gray or very light gray terracotta that i'm using um but we'll see we'll see how it goes so i am going to show you the first is well first i'm going to clean up all the walls and then i'm going to show you the designs and blah 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 okay i'll see you in a minute all right, so that's the pattern I've got for the bigger of these little archway things. I pretty much probably am not going to put it here, but I'm going to have like, like a, preferably a pattern of these. I haven't decided what and where they're going to end up being. Um, and then, then these little like cyan tealy bits, which are, you know, like a, a, a little square thing in um, at the front of the walls, because I think this sort of, matches up quite nicely i'm not sure that the gray would work quite so well there and i don't want to put the teal terracotta blocks um yeah so teal terracotta this is light gray terracotta in the swirly pattern which i prefer to like the circle pattern because i feel that's more tempesty and then that's light gray concrete sand with a bit more texture because you know stuff and things right so i'm going to figure out where i'm going to place these things i'm going to take this one down obviously because that's what you do once you figure everything out and i'm going to figure out where i want these little dealies and where i can put any more indentation and stuff all right so i've come up with a pattern and i've just realized that torches are not gonna work the way i want them to um for this project because they can't be turned upside down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go get some um what do you call it? Not lanterns. Um, blah, 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 blah. The things that are paintings that are not item frames. There you go. And I'm going to work on that one with it, I think. Um, I'm trying to remember how to work an item frame. Well, the torches will go. Oh, no, that's not going to work either. I'm going to have to replace these little things, these little blocks of light with, I guess, light, actually. Um, ideally, I don't think they'd be there at all, maybe. Because these guys are going to have light in them. And I kind of want something that's going to run. I need to figure out a, another decal for this one. They can last, they can stay for now whilst I finish off the wall. Um, so I've got the little little half are these crosses no they're not crosses they're like diamonds i guess so i've got the little diamonds in a four pattern and then two big diamonds on either side um i need to think of something that's gonna go here i it's got to be even because i realize this is an odd wall so it's got to be odd across the top and even down the sides to match up with these things so uh, that's what those little lights were for i'm not sure it's going to work somehow hmm bad ideas are bad oh i also think that this wall needs I, I i guess daylight um i also think these walls need a bit more texture so i need some kind of pillars up the side and i think i'm going to put stairs along the roof not along the bottom um because stairs if you look here the stairs don't quite right quite oh i suppose if it's going to be looked at mostly head on yeah if it's going to be looked at most actually yeah i'm going to put stairs along the bottom and uh, which means i get to take out this glass and do the same on the bottom joy so yeah cool okay so i've got like a whole way around so what i need to do for this is i need to put 
a sewn set there and then one directly on top of it. And that's got to go. Yeah, that looks actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's got to go all the way around. That's actually pretty easily done if I don't hold down the mouse button. Okay, I'll see you when the floor is done. There we go. We've got some nice texture going on and I need to do the same. But I, I do quite like it because if you look down, I mean, obviously the light's not working well there. But if you go down here, you can actually see the, the reflection. And then I think it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty badass if I do say so. And I do. I do say so myself. Let's be honest. I do. Um, I want to do like a like a thin column. Like maybe just, yeah, maybe just uh, like one block of sandstone. Maybe interspersed with lamp blocks. Not sure. Okay, I think I've decided to go with like some cobblestone. I might mix in some um, other cobblestone. And I've used the, um, the cyan clay there as well, I think. Just like a little, a little pillar, you know, doesn't support much. Is merely, it's really there for me to just have a little bit of extra something, something different. Ooh, now here's something I hadn't considered. This block up the top is a half block. And the one at the bottom is a half block to stop mobs spawning. What am I going to do there? Well, if I... Hmm. If I put this stuff here, like so, and then I can just make it so it's double on top, maybe? Hang on, let's have a look. Let's have a look at how that will go down. That goes there, that goes there that goes there okay so we get like a, a double sort of step on the floor not sure i like it but it might grow on me a bit like fungus and don't die as we go down let's have a look at the pillar if only they did sandstone fences that would that would be better if it was sandstone fence. But I do want the colour of it. Which could mean... Hmm. Which could mean putting colour up the middle. And then on each side having... Stairs go up maybe? Sort of, hang on, like... Uh, this is just a demo, this is not staying. Um have that up the middle and then have like like that going up along with or maybe have it up like I've got it upstairs which is basically with the the stairs which means you get less Less colour. Is it that how I did it? No, it's this way. It means you get less colour. Yeah, like that. But you still get the the ring of colour that... Hang on. This needs to come... If this is how I'm doing it, that's how... I think, actually, that's... Let's put some stand there. I think it's... Like that. And then having stairs come around. Stop doing that stairs. You're being petty. And then have stairs coming around. Like, well, maybe not like that. In fact, I'm going to show you what I mean. <laughs> I am going to show you what I mean. No, that was not what I meant. Game, you've... I am not doing so well. Like that. And then having that go up. Or maybe having the stairs the other way. So it's less top heavy. And more kind of. Like 
so yeah that's a better it's a better look i actually quite like that as a pillar design that works quite well which means i need to get more cyan clay <laughs> Uh, this is going to be fun. But I've got a lot of clay. I just need to cyanify it. Which is fortunate because I got a... A doobry. And by doobry I mean... I don't know what I mean. It's fine. Doesn't matter what I mean. So if that goes like that. And then we can put some colour in like that. Yeah, that's a better pillar design. I will go with that one. But first, I want to fill in these blocks before I lose all my cyan. All right, there's the first of the big holes. I'm going to do the next one, uh, which is over there. And then I need to figure out a pattern for the little ones. Little ones are going to be, I think, the bigger problem for me because I'm not sure what I'm going for. They're even, so, I mean, they could have the swirlies, but they can't have the lights. And I do like the grey, so, I mean, because they've got, like, a little spot here where the lights could go, but I don't. I mean, ideally, that would obviously be, um, what do you call it, uh, sea lanterns, ideally, but, you know, you can't have that. I think this one's going to be more sort of concentrated, maybe have the grey, maybe having the teal here, I'm not sure. Yeah, I've decided to go much simpler for the little ones, um, just the grey, the 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 grey concrete powder and a circle because yeah you've got the chaos and the order which is which is what gods represent let's be honest chaos and order um at least these gods mostly chaos i mean yeah some order too but we'll we'll figure out so yeah i'm going to finish off this part of the wall and then i'm going to look into doing the pillars all right, guys, now I'm trying to figure out how I want the pillars and I haven't decided what's going on this wall yet and all that wall yet. Um, but I don't know if I prefer the indented one, which gives it a nice little bit of texture or the more solid, chunky version. Um, I'm going to go with the that one at the moment. Um sort of yeah the one that does hang on the one that does that um just because it gives a nice bit of depth i think i'm not gonna go with i think i am gonna go with the teal inside um because it's a brighter color and i think sometimes it needs and it's 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 more random. The other one just looks like eyes staring at you all. Which isn't a bad thing, eyes staring at you all the time. I mean, if that's your thing, you do you. But I am quite in, quite liking how this is looking. So if I go up and see what Carol can see, because that's the important part, what Carol can see. That I like. That I like. I don't like the middle. I need... Yeah, I need a, a design that's uneven across the top, but even down the middle. Which could just be a square with... Hmm, now that's a thought. I could do... Let's let's get out over to there. Let's, let's, let's do that thing. Okay, right, we're out. Right, if I was to do this, I could just do... Right, yeah. Go all the way around. Now it's odd across the top and even across the bottom, across the sides, which is what I wanted. Take out that. And then I can just do stairs in the corner. If I had enough stairs, that is. Do, seriously, I don't have enough stairs. I could do that and then do a, like a nice little doohickey thing in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to do that because that actually works for what I'm after. And I'll take the cyan clay because I can. Yeah, yeah. Although this one is going to require some lights. Just so mobs don't spawn on this block here. Um, I could do half slabbing. Hang on. No, I don't.
don't think that works because that looks too much like those but a little bit rubbishier so it's gonna need it's gonna need a lamp or two so maybe maybe if i do ideally like i say this would be sea lanterns but maybe if i do this pattern again down here and that will be enough light to stop stuff spawning on there uh where do i don't have any sticks okay all right i will get things together Okay, I've gone for simple. I've used the sea lanterns, which has the same colour, but it actually pro provides light. And whilst these things don't actually provide, like, much light at all, it still works quite well enough for what I need of it. So we've got the wall sorted. I'm going to work on this pillar now, once I get all my, um, what do you call it? All my terracotta? Yeah. Okay, I'm fed up of the creepers on my building. This is just I'm just putting in lights over here just so we can stop you guys from spawning. I mean, we sort of more or less stopped it around there. You, on the other hand, can just go away. Ugh. I like this bow. I found it on a skelly. Skellies are dumb. All right, I have to say, I do like that effect. I don't know if it should be more solid in certain places and only have patches of color i mean you guys tell me what you think if you and and i will i will agree with the person that i like that's that's pretty much how it goes um no that's not true i will agree with the person who makes the most sense who i like um <laughs> okay that actually took um a significant amount of time i've quite enjoyed it um tell me what you are what you think of it um and what you think I need to do to improve. I was trying to get across so I could see it from the side. I mean, it's a temple wall. So, you know, it's going to be a temple wall regardless. But I actually really like that as 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 a as a thing. And I, I think the colours there may be a bit too much because it's sort of muted. And then it's only got touches of the cyan. But on the whole... It's a pretty badass wall, even if I do say so myself. And I do, because I can. Because I made it. Me, this person here. Isn't that right, Carol? I knew you'd be behind me. You're quite creepy. Um, So, I need to find a way to mirror that. I think that might be an episode on its own, like me just just speed cameraing it. Um, Maybe, maybe not. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the heads. I am going to take out that wall. I don't, I don't, I've decided, whilst I, d I liked it when I made it, I have decided that I, I no longer do. So, I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Cleo Builds a Wall. Class dismissed. <laughs>